Hello, everybody, and welcome to this edition of Discovery Day. Before I get started, I want to say thank you to our sponsor, the Chickasaw Nation, for making free family fun possible here at the Oklahoma Hall of Fame. But let's go ahead and get started and jump right in. So here at the Oklahoma Hall of Fame, we believe in telling Oklahoma's story through its people. So day after day, we highlight the inspiring stories of Oklahomans to tell future generations. Um, and so today we are telling the story of Oklahoma Hall of Fame member Thomas Gilcrease. Gilcrease was born in Louisiana, um, but he was raised in eastern Oklahoma near Tulsa. In the 1920s, Gilcrease hit it big in oil, and he used his money and his wealth to collect a huge art, a huge number of art pieces, lots of sculptures, um, lots of paintings, all sorts of stuff. Um, as a member of the Muscogee Creek Nation, Gilcrease collected art specific to the American West and to his Native American heritage. Um, and with his huge art collection, with all his paintings and with all his sculptures, he opened the Gilcrease Museum in Tulsa, Oklahoma in 1949, where it is still open today. Um, and so he traveled all over the world collecting all sorts of art. Um, and so today we're going to tell the story of a frog who also travels the world. I um, mean, we're going to read Froggy Goes to Hawaii by Jonathan London, um, illustrated by Frank Rimkowitz. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing and get my screen switched over. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into story time. Like I said, we are reading Froggy Goes to Hawaii. Froggy, called his father. What? Up and at him. Today is the day we're going on vacation. Froggy gets to go on vacation. Yippee, cried Froggy. And he sang, we're going on vacation. We're going to Hawaii. We're going on vacation. We're going to Hawaii. That sounds like fun. It's time to pack, yelled his dad. So Froggy hopped out of bed and packed his toy plane. Zoom. His toy boat. Vroom. And his ukulele. Plink. He's packing the important stuff. Froggy called his mother. What? Don't forget to pack your bathing suit, dear. I know, cried Froggy. And he grabbed his backpack and flopped out to the taxi. Flop. Flop, flop, here he comes. Are you going to Hawaii in your pajamas? Frogalina laughed. Oops, cried Froggy, and he flopped back to his room to get dressed. Flop, flop, flop. When Froggy came back, Frogalina waved goodbye, and off to the airport they went. Beep, beep, beep. So there they go, they're going off to the airport. At the airport, they had to wait in a long line. Froggy didn't like waiting in line. That sounds like the airports today. So he leapfrogged over his mom, he leapfrogged over his dad, and he leapfrogged, leapfrogged over Polly Wagalina and fell flat on his face. Oof, there's Froggy. He he he, giggled Polly. And dad's, dad said, Froggy, when you get to Hawaii, don't act like a nincompoop. So he wants him to behave himself. That's very important. <laughs> when they finally got on the airplane, they flew and flew and flew. But Froggy couldn't sit still. So he flopped up to the front. Flop, flop, flop. And sang to the pilot. We're going on vacation. We're going to Hawaii. I don't know if the pilot's going on vacation. It sounds like the pilot's working. Froggy called his mom. What? Please come sit down now. And his dad warned, when you get to Hawaii, I know, cried Froggy. <clears throat> so he's already getting in trouble and they haven't even got to Hawaii. But when they got to Hawaii, Froggy went bananas. He raced through a giant bamboo forest and had a ninja fight with a coconut tree. Hia! Whack, whack. Whack, bonk. A coconut hit him on the head and knocked him down. I think the tree won the fight. 
he got so hot in the jungle, he had to dive in a, into a nice cool stream and almost went over a waterfall. Help! Mom snatched him just in time. Thank goodness. The next day, they climbed a volcano. Look, yelled Froggy, lava. He was so excited, he almost fell in. Oops, cried Froggy, hanging onto Dad's neck like a monkey. Uh-oh, you don't want to get in the lava. <clears throat> next day, he did a hula dance in a grass skirt. Hula, hula, hula. And even the Minaya birds laughed. Ah, see, the birds are laughing at him. But there they are. They're all having a great time in Hawaii. And the day after that, he surfed, riding his dad's shoulders with his hands over his dad's eyes. Wipe out. No wonder he wiped out. His dad couldn't see. On their last day in Hawaii, they sailed out on the four winds. Froggy borrowed his dad's binoculars to look for sea turtles, whales, and dolphins. He got a little seasick, Blech! so he looked even greener than usual. It's a green frog looking green. When they dropped anchor at a coral reef, Froggy had to be the first one in. He ripped open his backpack and he took out his toy plane, zoom, his toy boat, vroom, and his toy ukulele, plink. Oh no, cried Froggy, I forgot my bathing suit. Uh-oh, even though his mom told him. Oh, Froggy, mom sighed. So Froggy had to go snorkeling in his dolphin underwear. He pulled up his flippers, zup, put on his mask and snorkel, zoop, zeep and pushed past everybody. Flop, flop, splash! There he goes, right into the water. He glubbed and blubbed and almost sank, then popped up, holding his dad's binoculars. Uh-oh, those aren't for the water. Oops, spluttered Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Now he's embarrassed instead of sick. Oh, Froggy, said his dad, what did I tell you? When you get to Hawaii, Look, Dad, giant sea turtles. Froggy tossed Dad his binoculars and took off after them. There he goes, he's swimming with the turtles. Froggy, called his dad. What? Wait for me. And he jumped in after him. Flop, flop, splash. So now his dad's swimming in the ocean. By the time the boat picked them up, is that a long day it looks like? Dad was too pooped to pop. When we get back home, he groaned, I need a vacation. Me too, cried Froggy. Next time, let's go for two weeks. The end. Awesome. So that's an awesome story about a very adventurous frog that gets to go to Hawaii. Um, and so we're going to be making our very own frogs today. I'm just going to look like this. Let me switch my camera over. Um, and they're even going to be three-dimensional, and they're going to hop, and they're going to be able to hop, see? Um, and so we're going to get started with that here. Um, and let me switch back over and show you what supplies we're going to need for our frog today. Um, so we're going to need two paper circles, just like this. Um, we're going to need our googly eyes. We're going to need a green sheet of paper. We're going to need um, a black sheet of paper. Um, Typically a full one, but I'm using some scraps that we have here. Um, and then we're going to need our crayons, um, our pack of crayons, our green, our yellow, our blue, and our red. Um, and then we're also going to need our scissors um, and our glue. So now that we have everything, I have it all set aside. Um, our first step is we're going to take our white circles and we're going to color them green. Because um, I want to have a green frog, uh, but you can have whatever color you want. It's like frogs come in all different colors and sizes throughout the world. Um, but we're going to take the time to color. These are going to be our frog's body. Um, let me show you here real quick. So we have our front and our back. Um, and so we're going to color it all green. So the entire frog is green. Um, and that just makes it look, I think, a little bit cleaner, you know? A little, like a little bit more like a frog. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just take our time. 
color it whatever color we want. I'm going ahead and doing it green. Um, and if you want, you can leave it blank. Um, but like I said, I'm going to do green because I think that I want to do a simple green frog, just like Froggy that we read about in our story. So I have that side done. I'm going to flip it over. This is going to be the back of my frog. Um, so it doesn't need to have any red or anything on it. It just needs to be green. I'm going to spend, go ahead and color that real quick. Get it nice and green. And so we're getting up there. So we're about halfway done with this one. So we're going to have, like I said, a green frog, but frogs do come in all sorts of colors and shapes and sizes. Um, there are tropical frogs that are sometimes more colorful, uh, maybe like a poison dart frog. Um, and there's even all sorts of toads and such. Uh, but here's my first circle. It's green on the front and back, and that's going to be my, the back of my frog, like I said. Next, I'm going to take this. Uh, before I go ahead and color it green, though, I'm going to color in my frog's mouth. And so I want my frog to have a green mouth. He's going to have a slim mouth like that. But that's because he's going to have his tongue kind of hanging out. And so here's my frog. And that's its tongue. And so now I'm going to take the time to color in his tongue because I don't want to have a green tongued frog. He's going to have a red tongue. And I want you to know that that's his tongue. And so he's going to have a red tongue just like us humans. Um, frogs do have pink tongues, though. I don't know if you've ever seen a frog's tongue. So red's not that far off. So there's my frog with his tongue. He's got his tongue sticking out, kind of out the side of the side. Um, and now I'm going to take the time to color green around the rest. Um, and just color in, and this, like I said, is going to be my frog's face. Um, that's his mouth. That's where he collects his flies and all the other insects that he eats. Um, and I'm just going to be careful to color around here. And I think that that just looks a little bit cleaner, like I said. And so there we go. There's that. And so I'm making good progress on my frog. So I got his mouth on there. So we're about done with the front. And then I just need to color on the back and give him a green. So there's that. Awesome. So there's that. And then I have one more side. One more side that I want to paint, want to color green, um, and that's this side right here. Um, and that's just the back side, so I'm just going to color it green, just the whole thing green. Um, it doesn't need to have a mouth or anything fun like the, the other side on it. Um, and so I just got a little bit left. And that goes right there just like that. And now I have my green frog, his body's all green. He's got his mouth. Um, and so our next step, um, I'm not gonna attach my eyes right to him because frogs kind of have googly eyes. I got big kind of eye sockets in some cases. So I'm gonna use this piece of paper um, and I'm gonna use a crayon. I'm gonna trace out some, some eye circles for my frog. I'm gonna do that right here. I'm going to cut those out and I'm going to glue those momentarily. Um, and these are going to be my frog's eyes. And so those are going to go on my frog. And those are where his googly eyes are going to hang out. And let me go ahead and get this other one cut out. And so once I get these cut out, I'm going to get the googly eyes. I'm going to put some glue down. I'm going to make sure that I get those attached. And so there we go. I have that cut out now. So I have my two eyes attached. Now I'm going to take my googly eyes. I'm going to set them right there. Um, and with my glue stick, I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm going to put some glue down here. And I'm going to put some glue down there. I'm going to attach my googly eyes to where I put the glue down. And so those are nice and attached. And so with those attached now, I'm going to take my frog's head 
And I'm going to put lots of glue where I want my eyeballs to go. Um, and you might have to use a little bit extra glue um, because there's already crayon down. And so it makes it a little harder to stick. And so that goes there. And that goes there. And so here's my frog's with its face. It's got its eyes and its mouth. So get them all scooted over time. There we go. See, it's got its tongue and all that stuff. Um, so using this same piece of paper now, I'm going to make sure that my frog has its feet. Um, and so I'm gonna draw right along here. Um, and so my frog has webbed feet. And so that's what its little claws kind of look like. And so I'm just gonna trace out exactly where I want to cut out just to make it a little bit easier on myself. Um, and so these are going to be my frog's feet and I'm going to take the time here one moment to attach these. Um, two are going to go on my frog's head that I have right there down there and then two are going to go on this one. Um, and then we're going to do using that black piece of paper we're going to make sure that our frog hops. But we're going to get to there one moment. And we're just going to take our time through here. Awesome. And so we just got a little bit more to go. And we're going to cut right there. So I have my first frog foot cut out. <laughs> So we're just going to keep cutting along until we get them all cut out, ready to go. And these are then going to go glued onto our frog's feet, onto our frog's body. So there's our second one. Uh, we got this one. I'm just going to go ahead and do it the easy way, cut it that way, and then with my scissors here, I'm going to trim out those parts. Um, and I think, oh, I had it off camera. I'm just going to trim off these parts to make it a little bit easier, and we'll just fall right out once I get them cut. And then if it doesn't fall out, you can just go ahead and pull it out, and it should just, yep, just come right off the, right off your frog's foot. And again. Do the same thing here and awesome. So there's frog foot number three. So I have three frog feet. I have one more. I'm gonna show you how I did that one more time with this last one. So I'm gonna cut it out just like that. And I'm gonna cut straight on the line that I drew. And then using my scissors, I'm just gonna trim it up a little bit to make it look a little more like frog feet. Just kind of taking off little chunks of paper. And one more cut that I want to do right down in there. And that'll just help, like I said, make it look a little more like webbed feet. There we go. So now that I have my four frog feet out, they're all cut out right here like this. I'm not going to put glue on them. Um, and so, two, like I said, two are going to go on this side and two are going to go on this side. Um, so these first two are going to face up um, and they're going to go just here like that. So I'm going to put glue right across here. And with those, I'm going to set them. And those will go straight right there. So I have my first two feet. Um, and then these, with these, I'm going to flip this over. And similarly, I'm going to put glue right there. And with these, I'm going to face them down. Awesome. And so I'm going to flip that over. And so as you see, now my frog has its feet. Um, both sides of my frog's body has its feet, but that has to have a way to connect. And so that's where that black piece of paper comes in. Um, and so I'm going to cut this into two evenly sized strips. Um, so I'm going to use the whole length of the paper this whole way. Um, and I'm going to cut it. Um, and so I'm going to have one. I'll cut one this way. And so that one, and then like I said, one about the same size, and it'll definitely be the same length because we're cutting from the same piece of paper. 
and just cut as straight as you can. They don't have to be exact, um, but with our two pieces of paper here now, um, we're gonna go ahead um, and this is gonna how, be how we make our frog 3D. So we're gonna walk through this slowly. Um, so on one piece of paper, um, I'm gonna do this one right here because it's the one I have facing up. We're gonna put glue right here on the bottom. Um, so that's good amount of glue. And you're gonna take that other piece of paper that cut, you cut out, that other strip, and you're gonna glue it to the end of this black piece of paper. So with them forming an L, kind of like so. Um, and so you see this piece of paper is on top of this piece of paper. So you're gonna take this one and you're just going to fold it over um, like that. Um, and you're going to take the other one and, and fold it over this way. And so you're going to keep repeating this step where you take the paper and you just fold it back over, um, just kind of rotating as you go, alternating. Um, and this is gonna give you that accordion look that's gonna make your, your frog hop. Um, it's gonna make it a little 3D. Um, and so you just slowly fold, slowly rotate. Um, and so I'm just, as you can see, just folding that piece of paper, like I said, this one is back on top, so that goes over. And then I'm taking this one and then that goes over just like that. Um, and so I'm gonna keep doing that, um, pressing down my folds hard every step of the way. Um, and I'm holding still the bottom because um, otherwise it's not secured. So otherwise it might come undone as you kind of see there, kind of like that. Um, so I'm gonna, like I said, keep folding. And I've got a little bit more that I could do. So I'm gonna do that one, probably that one, and there. So now with this one, um, since I, that's a, about a perfect piece, I don't, I'm not gonna have to trim it. So with this one, this final fold right here, I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put glue down right here. And I'm gonna take this piece of paper and I'm gonna fold it over and I'm gonna press down real, real hard. And then if you have any excess amount sticking off that way, you can go ahead and cut it off that way. Um, but I only have stuff sticking off on this side. So I'm gonna cut off right here. Um, and so, like I said, this is gonna form the accordion. This is gonna be the 3D part of your frog. And so I have that right here. Um, and so that's gonna get stuck right here um, on the back side of your frog. And then it's gonna go on the other side. Um, so how we're gonna do that is we're gonna take the little black piece of paper that we've constructed. We're gonna put glue on this end. And so with glue there, we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna stick it right above where the feet are. And we're gonna press it down real hard. Um, so once it's stuck, as you can kind of see it's stuck, we're still gonna be careful because um, we wanna make sure that we let our glue dry. We're gonna put more glue on this end. And then we're gonna take our frog's face right here that we constructed right here. And we're gonna take this face and we're gonna press it on down. And that is gonna be our frog. And so now we have a three-dimensional jumping frog. Yay, awesome. So let me go ahead and switch my camera back over so you can get a better look. Um, I won't have it jumping at you. So here's what our frog looks like. It's three-dimensional. Um, like I said, it'll even hop at you. Um, so I hope you all had a great time making your frog craft with me today. And I hope you had an awesome time listening to our, our froggy story um, and how he goes to Hawaii. I had a, an awesome time hanging out with you and I can't wait to see y'all for next week. Thank you and have a great rest of your day. Bye everyone.